Okay, I'd like you to have a blog for this class. And you want your blog to be where you can just post random things if you want. You can use a blog you already use. And I would encourage you to use a blog for all of your classes. So this can be something you can use across your different courses. It doesn't have to be just for the algebra class. Um, there's an assignment to get a blog entry started. But you're going to actually be making a lot of blog posts. So here's our first one. I'm going to go to the blog post. So if you don't have a blog already, uh, you're going to want to sign up with WordPress.com. So www.wordpress.com. Now you can use Blogspot or Blogger or whatever blog you, if you already have one, you can keep it. You don't have to change it. But I can't help you with the other ones. I know how to use WordPress, so if you have any questions um, or you want me to help you with it, it probably is a good idea to have a WordPress blog. So you would just click over here, sign up now. Okay, you want a username. It can be any username that you want. Please be appropriate for school because I will see the title of your um, your WordPress blog. So you want to put in a password. Make sure that they match. Okay, you want to put in your email address. You want to say that you have read the terms of service and you want it to give you a blog. Click next. Apparently that one was already taken. And so was that one. Okay. I'm not going to really make one. Okay, so now you'll notice that your blog domain became your username.wordpress.com. If you don't want your username to be the URL that you would give me for your blog, then choose something else. Don't don't use that. So you can you can have your domain be anything that someone doesn't already have. And once you choose it, it's done. You can't change it. So this is what you would turn in. For example, in this one, this is my blog.wordpress.com. That's what you would give me. And then you want to give your blog a title. You can have the title be whatever you want. and You can change it multiple times. And you go ahead and click sign up. Now once you sign up, um, it's going to send you an email and you're going to have to confirm that it's really you. So you have to go check your email and everything. And you'll notice here it has WordPress for iPhone. I use the WordPress um, app on my iPhone. It's pretty cool if you have an iPhone. But you would sign up. Now I already have a, a WordPress blog, so I'm going to just go ahead and go to mine. I host mine on my own server, so mine's not at WordPress.com. It's just a WordPress blog. Slash Mrs. Keeler. And then what you want to do is you go slash WP for WordPress dash admin and that's going to take you to the administrative side of your uh, blog. So you have your dashboard here, and if you just come up to the top, it says New Post. So I'm going to make a test post. Here is my information. Maybe I want to solve a math problem. 3x plus 1 equals 7, space bar, space bar, minus 1, minus 1, 3x equals 6, divide by 3, divide by 3, x equals 2. Oops. So I can just put those right in my blog. I'm going to highlight this. And where's the underline option? Okay, so I have no underline option, which is really handy for making the line. So I'm going to actually switch over here from being visual to the HTML tab. Now you might not know HTML. But now if I highlight this, it has UL underline. So it will, hmm, I don't know, UL, is, I always just know it as U for underline. I don't know about UL. But anyway, it's the, the tags is U for underline. I'm going to underline that. I'm going to stop underlining that. I'm going to underline that. I'm going to stop underlining that. So I'm going to go from the HTML back to the visual. So you notice I now have un lines drawn underneath them and everything. That's probably a little easier in the Moodle because it does have an underline button. This one doesn't have one. You can also very easily add pictures. Just go right up here to the picture spot. So if you did some homework and you just took a picture with your phone or a camera, just go ahead and find the picture on your computer. I'm going to just pick a random picture. Now once I, once I upload it, you want to make sure you click here, Insert into Post. 
I sometimes forget to do that. And I just save, and I'm like, where'd the picture go? So make sure you insert it into your post. So it's really easy to add a bunch of pictures here into your blog. It just uploads really nice. Um, it's a little more complicated in Moodle, so which is why this is a, a nice option to use. So once you have your blog the way you want it, you want to come over and make sure that you add tags. So I'm going to put 000B, that is the section and assignment letter. I'm going to make sure you always add that. And then you want to always check the algebra category. Now if you don't have the algebra category, you just come down here and click add new category and you could type in algebra and make the category. Okay, so once I have my tag, which make sure you've clicked add the tag, forget that sometimes, and that you've chosen the algebra category, and you've written everything you want to write, you just come back up and you hit publish. Okay, so now I've published it, and you'll notice here it says post published, view post. So I'm going to go ahead and view my post. And there it is, it's got my picture, it's got my typing and everything. Nice. And so up here at the top, you'll notice this is my blog, and then this is page, the posting is 99. So if I copy that, this is what I'm going to put back in Moodle. So I'm going to come back to Moodle, I'm going to scroll down, I'm going to edit my submission. So once I'm here in in Moodle, you'll notice I've got this nice WYSIWYG editor, which means what you see is what you get, so it makes it pretty easy to bold, italicize, underline. Let's try doing a, a math problem with this one. 2x plus 1 equals negative 5, right? So I would minus 1, minus 1, 2x equals negative 6, divide by 2. Okay, so then if I highlight all these, this one has the underline option, so that's kind of nice. I can just do it right here in Moodle. So sometimes Moodle's easier and sometimes the blog is easier. For adding pictures, blog's definitely easier. For the Moodle, you got to click here and there's a bunch of steps you have to go through. So Especially if you want to add pictures, um, the blog's a nice choice. And like I said, you also will have an online portfolio. We can see this is all of my homework and um, it's pretty nice. Okay, so what I'm going to do though is I'm going to paste that blog link to back to my blog. But this is not going to be a live link. So what I want to do is I want to highlight it and click on the chain link right here in the WYSIWYG editor, which you see is what you get. So I'm going to paste it again, and under target, I'm going to hit new window. You can leave the title part blank, you know, if you want to. Or you can put a title in there if you want. So I hit OK. So now you'll notice this is a, a live link. It's got its underline and the color changed. I'm going to go ahead and save changes. And if you need to edit it, you can always edit it and change it, but that's about it. That's how you would turn in something with a blog post, is just to put the link right in the assignment in Moodle.